Welcome to this Windows channel and this is, um, we can say part two of Cortana settings. And basically these are on the search side. So Cortana, of course, when you click on the search box or Cortana uh, ring, it also has a search. You can search for apps, documents, uh, emails, you can search the web, but there are some settings with this that are interesting to know about. So the settings for search in Cortana are of course in the settings and you go to Cortana. But on the left side, you will have something called permissions and history. Here, first of all, at the top is all you need to know or basically explanations and what you need to know about what Cortana knows about you thanks to the cloud and and you know the access from this device the search history uh, all of that is sent to the cloud so microsoft has some details in the cloud about your search uh, history and so on you can actually manage that so when you click change uh, you know change what cortana knows about me in the cloud or manage the information you will be sent to your Microsoft account in the web and there you will have an idea of what is actually known about you in the search and the way that Cortana, you know, pretty much every little details and you'll be able to clear that search history and clear that information if you wish to do so if you feel it's kind of a problem. The second item is safe search. So when you use Cortana, there are filters available. There's no filter there's a moderate filter and there's a strict filter. And depending on who uses the computer, you might want to activate a specific filter. By default, it's moderate. It filters adult images and videos, but not text from the web results, for example. If you put it strict, then it will filter out adult text, images, and videos from the web results. Meaning, you know, if you have um, some younger generation, you know, maybe a kid, that uses the computer and starts using Cortana, not to see things like that. And of course you can have off, don't filter anything about adult content. It's, you know, um, a good way to um, somewhat filter whatever content is available on the web when you do searches with Cortana. Then you have Windows Cloud Search. It search the cloud for content in the Windows Search, including cloud content that was you know, saved for you. So things that you did, maybe files that you have in OneDrive, stuff like that. You have device history. It could be on or off. And by the way, the cloud search is on or off also. It improves on device searches using app settings and other history from your signed in devices. Meaning it will kind of cross platform search. If you have a you know, tablet or another Windows 10 PC, and all of that is synced together. Some of the search information and history you got here is also on, can, can be actually found thanks to the cloud search, even though it was through another device, for example. And you can clear the device history uh, if you want here. So every device you have should have, uh, if you really don't want to have all of that search possibility, you should have clear my device or click clear my device history on every machine you have. Then you've got my search history, improve on device searches using my search history from sign in devices. Basically that is related once again, a little bit to the cloud. What happens is when you do searches, when you use your PC, um, a lot of information is gathered about what you do, um, different apps that you use. And all of that information is stated in what is a search history. So if you search a lot for a specific item or specific file, well, Cortana will actually prioritize that if, if, if she thinks that you might want to actually search for the same thing again. So this is all the other information that you might want to know. So basically you can turn, you know, Windows Cloud Search on or off, device history on and off, or search history on or off. It will change what Cortana can do. It will have more or less possibilities depending if you choose and say yes or no. So it's very important to just choose 
whatever you want. And remember, at the top, the permissions and the Cortana, you know, change what Cortana knows about you. This always brings up uh, all the personal information. You can, of course, go on the, the um, you know, on the web to see what is there. So you can actually click and manage the information about what um, it actually can know about you in the Cortana information of different services and apps that you use. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thank you for watching.